Okay, so um, we're going to talk about what we call the rational zeros theorem, and that helps us determine the uh, list of possible uh, rational, real, rational zeros for a polynomial function. <clears throat> Rational meaning, you know, fractions or whole numbers or positives or negatives, not like irrational square roots, not complex. This only gives the possible real rational zeros. So if I have a polynomial function, a n, actually let me just it, instead of doing it that way, you're going to take the um, total factors of the constant term and divide each one of those by the total factors of the leading coefficient. And so this is a general way of saying our rational zeros theorem. <clears throat> total factors of the constant term divided by all the total factors of the leading coefficient. So let me show you what that means. So here's a function polynomial function, um, third degree polynomial function, and I just want to list all the possible real rational zeros, okay? This is not going to tell me what they actually are. It's not going to tell me the um, possible irrational. It's not going to tell me the possible complex. It's going to just tell me possible rational, okay? It won't tell me if they are zeros. It's just possible. So here are all the possible rational zeros. So I'm going to take the factors of the constant term, which in this case is negative 2. So the factors of negative 2, 1 and 2, right? Plus or minus 1 or plus or minus 2. And I'm going to take all the factors of the constant term and divide each one of them by all the factors of the leading coefficient, which in this case is 15. We call uh, factors of 15, 1, 3, 5, and 15. And we take plus or minus because we could do a combination of pluses and minuses to get what we want. Each one of these terms divided by each one of these. So now I'm going to take 1 and divide 1 by each of these. So 1 divided by 1, so plus or minus 1. 1 divided by 3, plus or minus 1 third. 1 divided by 5, plus or minus 1 fifth. 1 divided by 15, plus or minus 1 fifteenth. And then I'm going to take each one of these and divide by each one of these. So 2 over 1, so plus or minus 2. 2 over 3, plus or minus 2 thirds. 2 over 5, plus or minus 2 fifths. And 2 over 15, plus or minus 2 over 15. These are all the possible rational zeros. There are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 total possible rational zeros. Now this is, again, the rational zeros theorem, which just tells us the list of possible rational zeros. It does not tell us which one are zeros. We would have to plug these in to determine if they are actually zeros. Otherwise, I do not know. For now, I'm just going to list the possible rational zeros. In the next video, I'll show you where we go from there. So here's another polynomial function, a third degree polynomial function. I want to use the rational zeros theorem. List the possible rational zeros. Take all the factors of the constant term. Here the constant term is negative 6. So 1, 2, 3, and 6 are factors of 6. And then take all the factors of the leading coefficient. And here the leading coefficient is 1, so only divided by 1. So this is nice and easy. When the leading coefficient is 1, all of these divided by 1. 1 over 1 is 1, 2 over 1 is 2, 3 over 1 is 3, 6 over 1 is 6. So I have 2, 4, 6, 8. 8 total possible rational zeros. They're not definite. They're possible. And they're only rational. They might all work. They, well, <laughs> I only have three zeros, right? Um, they might all not work. All these zeros might be irrational. I don't know. We'll see. So this is the rational roots theorem. Um, I'll do one more for this one, a fourth degree polynomial. Just all the possible rational zeros. Let's see. Um, all the factors of the constant term. So 1, 2, oh, 3 is also a factor of 24. 3, God, this one has a lot. Um, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. All divided by, I'm not even going to write it, 
the leading coefficient of this, which is 1. So all divided by 1 just gives us back this. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. 16 total possible rational zeros for this polynomial function. Again, only the possible. I have to plug these in to determine which one actually works to then actually determine these zeros from there.